I am from Abia State. Same state as me. Oh, That's beautiful. I'm, I'm claiming you right now. Uh, yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so uh, just born like I said, yeah, born and bred in Joss. Uh-huh. You know, my parents had to leave Abia State at some point and then they came to Joss and that's where they had um, myself and my three other brothers. You know, so um, after all that happened, mm-hmm. at, let's say in 2021, I, because at that time I was doing radio, you know, so yes. you radio presenter. Yes. Uh-huh. I studied mass Broadcast. communication, university and all that. So, Which university? University, university of Joss. Uh-huh. 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 Yes, Joss, 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 Joss. Joss, Joss. Yes. So after that, in I, I did radio for a little bit. After that, where where University of Joss? Uh, no, 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 no. Like, I I did online video, so I started mm-hmm. an online video, mm-hmm. um, in twenty eighteen. After that, I did like three years managing the video, and then after after three years, I resigned. Okay. Yeah, I resigned. Okay. I I got to a point where I was looking for a new challenge. I was just going online one day, and boom, I saw that there is this organization that is recruiting it's called teach for nigeria and then um coincidentally before i left radio all the while i was in radio i was doing teaching part-time okay. mm. so teaching yeah. has always been a part of it's you. always been so mm-hmm. i've not really you know at that point i didn't really um put it like okay it's one big thing mm-hmm. one of my huge things no i just like eh, let's earn something extra so my job in the radio would start around 10. Okay. And so usually I'll just, um, I'll go to the school around 7 a.m. You know how assemblies are. I'll go to school by 7 a.m. And then I'll take a few classes. And by 10, You're I'll come back to the stage. Yes. Right. So I was like, let me just end little box here and there and mm-hmm. stuff. And then later on, after I saw this um, Teach for Nigeria um, recruitment and all that, I, I read about it. I was like, hmm, this looks like something I'll be really interested about. So I went on YouTube, so reading everything. I said, watching every video. And then I realized, oh God, these people are doing amazing work. Right. And it's in line with something I think I want to do. Plus, I would need to relocate. So I just wanted something challenging. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, it was an adventure. <laughs> for me, it was an adventure. Oh, let me just even leave this place. You know, let me just go somewhere. You know, just that was the idea. Okay, so they teach, basically, right? But they call their fellows teacher leaders because they don't expect you to just go there and teach and that's it. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to go into these communities and just transform the academic and non-academic outcomes of these children. So for us, it's not just about the ABC or the literacy or the numeracy. For us, it's about like the total transformation that can happen for a child, especially if a child is in a place or brought up in a place where um there's just limitation there's financial limitation economic limitation so it, it feels like that child cannot see or cannot go far mm-hmm. and you know that thing about what you see is really like what you become you know and all that so i our job is to go in there and make sure that we expand the horizon of these children let them see beyond where they are 